So I met another good friend, and uh, not only a friend, but also when we when it came down to it, one of the last, uh, and not the last, but I mean the beginning of uh, the, the light which began to spread um, of our mayor, which was the play which I think a lot of people got to see, Baruch Hashem, from Hanukkah, which was, if you calculate it, it's less than a, exactly a month from the day that our mayor's uh, body passed on. Um, we have Elliot al to uh, give us a uh, I don't know if it's a blessing, I think it's a lesson. Okay, if it's a blessing first, before you give us a lesson. Well, so we could take the lesson. If you look, if you, if you look the, generally in the Torah, the lessons become, come before the blessings. There's, there's not... Um, there's, well, there, it, twice in uh, the Parsha that's just gone, it uh, mentions uh, about the stranger. And... Uh, I don't think we're clear enough in uh, Jewish tradition what what like a stranger means, uh, what what a ger is. I think we always think it's just it's either got to be a convert or it's or whatever. And I think I don't I don't think it's clear. I think it needs a lot more. I think it needs a lot more investigation as to what what we translate it as, what we translate as a as a stranger. And uh, you know the way the way I met him. The way I met him was just in the street. He, he, he's like you see him. He like looks at you. His, his energy is like it like locks onto you. There's this energy. His eyes like light up, and he and he's like looking and he's looking at me. And uh, this guy's like coming up to me, and then he goes uh, in his voice. He goes, "I hear you're a filmmaker." He goes, "I want you to. I want to make a film." This is the first thing he says to me. I've never met the guy, and he and he comes up to me and he goes, "He goes, I want to make a film. I want to tell my story." And uh, and I'm like, "All right." Um, okay, you know, I just arrived to Sfat, I'd, I'd left Sfat and I was popping back and doing things on like uh, staying for Shabbos and stuff and I was making a few films. I was like, okay, um, you know, do you want me to do that now or, you know, is that, is that something that, you know, we, we've got to do? And I go, and then we talked about it and I said, well, if maybe if you write something and this and that, and we, we, you know, we discussed it. And eventually, you know, I was fortunate enough to do the play with him and, and what, you know, thinking about the whole episode of uh, the whole experience of doing the play, working with, with him like intensely for about a month and uh, as it turns out quite shortly before he passed on, he, I didn't teach him anything. Out of it, out of it, and I've, I, I've done plays and I've been doing it for about 10, 15 years. Out of anything, he was the one that taught me. He, you know, I didn't direct him, he just, I just basically said, look, you got three bots. I said, "Say this, say that, and 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 do that." And 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 on the night, he was he was he was like phenomenal. He, he it's like he it's like he'd acted like all his life. He'd been, he'd been he'd been he knew what an actor was. And I said that to him afterwards. I said, "You're an actor." I said, "You know what it is? Actors really are people that know." Uh, and it's like something that Labe said to me the other day. He goes, Aramea said to him once. Labe told me that uh, people, well, I am how how people see me. Is that, is, that, is that what you said? I exist as I am in other people's eyes. I am what I am, what I am in other people's eyes. I exist as I am in what is in other people's eyes. Hmm. And, uh, and, and that's not just an actor, it's also just like, it's beyond that. But, uh, you know, he reflected back this energy that night and the whole place was packed out just for him. Because uh, I knew that if he was in the play, he knew everyone in town, and there's no plays. Here. Everyone's like bored half the time. It's quiet at night. Everyone's <laughs> raving about Sfat, but Aramek couldn't wait to get out of Sfat. <laughs> he that's all he said. Like he said that a lot. He said, "I want to get out of Sfat," and yeah, he did. He, he wanted to do other things and stuff. And um, and uh, reading his journals, and uh, he did write his story, and hearing what he had to say, and uh, hearing what was going on in his mind. You know, those are things that are gonna live on forever and those things are going to teach a lot of people and there's a lot of there's a lot to learn and uh, that, that that you know that it's already the path is already lit up what what you know what uh, the legacy is of what we have to do and uh, it's very clear you know I've been speaking to one of his sisters Sarah and they're, they're setting up uh, AMI which is our mayor uh, initiative I think it's called to work with any uh, young especially I think young men who uh, experience, uh, you know, situations in their life where they where they need to reach out and, and build a bridge and 
and uh, it was something that I felt very strongly about and it's something that I've done you know all my life especially working with young men uh, I've worked with uh, all sorts of vulnerable young men uh, I've sat in a psychiatric unit with 16 year olds mong down their face on drugs and on uh, prescribed meds and uh, and I made films with them and stuff and I've seen the pain that they've gone through and uh, you know, this world is a lot of lies. It's a lot of lies if we give, you know, we give our, our young people stuff like that, like candies and stuff. And uh, and and I think that um, I think I think that he his soul was light enough that it shines through the double darkness. You know, there's a idea of time we do live in double darkness. There's things to like confuse the confusion at the moment <coughs> that we're going through, and even someone that you know. And it's something, something also his father's written about in a similar way, like what we what we actually see as reality and what is reality. And, uh, you know, people can look like this or look like that or this or that, but what is it, what, what's going on in their soul? What's going on in a soul level? And he was one of those few people that had that X-ray vision that could that could see right through it. And um, and so uh, he, was a, he, was a, he was a teacher for, for everyone. And uh, my blessing, is that we can try and attain that level and see what is what is truth and what is Shekhar because that is that is the real struggle that we're going through right now on, on, on all levels um, what is what is real and what isn't and uh, the world is uh, is really struggling with that and um, I think through telling his story we're, we're hopefully give some light into that in a major way